Have you ever noticed the big sign at fuel pumps that says, no mobile phones and people? Wondered, can my phone actually set the petrol on fire? You've probably seen those viral clips on WhatsApp showing phones causing explosions in fuel pump. Let's clear that up with plain science. Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Future Feathers. First of all, petrol doesn't just burst into flames from a phone's radio waves. Petrol's ignition temperature, the temperature at which it will ignite to produce fire spark is about 220 degree ille. That means the petrol vapors around the pump would have to be heated all the way up to roughly 220 plan by the phone for it to spontaneously catch fire. Phone's radiation don't emit anything close to that amount of heat or energy. So the idea that a phone's radiation can directly fire petrol is basically impossible. So why do fires happen in videos? The real criminal is usually static electricity. When you slide across a car seat or rub against certain fabrics, your body can pick up an electrostatic charge. If you then touch a metal part of the fuel tank or the nozzle, that charge can suddenly discharge as a tiny spark. That tiny spark is sometimes enough to fire petrol vapor, because in that case, petrol's flash point reduces to a temperature at which a spark can fire the vapors, became extremely low, around minus 45 degrees. In other words, even a small spark can do the job on that time. Then why you see the no mobile phone signs? Partly for safety, and partly practical that they discourage people from hanging around on their phones and waste time. The real safety message to take is to avoid actions that build static electricity, like getting in and out of the car repeatedly while fueling. To avoid fire from it, don't stand right over the filler opening of car tank. So next time someone tells you, mobile phones cause petrol pumps to explode, smile and say, not really. Static electricity is the real criminal. So here science wins again. If you like this quick myth brust, hit like and subscribe for more short science explanations.